Hey RV dummies, we just survived Hurricane Idalia and I wanted to warn you guys a little bit about something we discovered about the Blue Yeti power units. So we have two of the Blue Yeti EB3A. Now I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, we've loved this unit for a little while, but we have found a little problem when it comes to charging it. As you know, power went out for a little bit during the storm when it came through and we needed to use our battery backups and we wanted to charge them as fast as possible. Now, one of the first things that we discovered when we plugged in our solar panels is that for some reason, we weren't getting what our units were designed to be able to take in. Now, it takes a moment for this to load up. And as you can see, I've got uh, some coming in on both units here. Uh, 38 watts, 100 watts. Now, granted, sky is not exactly clear. Solar panels aren't exactly perfectly aimed out, but we couldn't get over 100 watts on each unit. And I couldn't figure out why, especially when these are supposed to be able to take up to 350 watts, and I've seen it do more than that. So I'm real quick on the app, I'm gonna show you. We have, you can see that little diamond up there, but I'll take it in here and show you the charging mode set on turbo. And just as a, a little reminder here, when you set these on turbo, uh, it, it'll even tell you that you get 350 watts and not to use this that often because it can hurt the longevity of the battery. And I was wondering, okay, so, maybe our solar panel. So we contacted our solar panel manufacturer. We ended up doing a test on our solar panels to see if that was the, the issue. And we took an amperage reading with voltage and we're getting plenty of power out of our solar panels, much more than that. So we went on to the next step. We have the chargers here. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug the, the solar from both of these here. And we're going to plug in the grid power to come into both of these guys right now. And we'll pop into one of them here real quick, show you that coming up. And you can see I'm getting 103, 106 watts on pretty much both of them here. And they're both set on turbocharge. And I don't understand why. There's no temperature warning that's on the screen. They're not over temperature. We haven't just recently discharged these. We made sure when we got these set that we got them both down to the same amount of percentage, 44% each, you can see that on both. Uh, they've had plenty of time to cool off. They haven't been charging. The units are not warm. Uh, they're in, in fine shape. So one of the things you're supposed to be able to do is then add, if you can't get that much power, let's say there's maybe something wrong with the cables, you're supposed to be able to add solar charge to it. So we're gonna add the solar charge into both of these units now, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead, while you're getting a close up here on screen, I'm also gonna pull up the app and you can see I'm already starting to get some power in from the solar, but yet the grid power stops dropping down. And yet neither one of these units will raise over 99 watts or maybe 106, 103, 105. And we can leave these for a while. We've been trying to figure out if it was something we were doing wrong and we couldn't. So here's the next part. I contacted Blue Yeti about this and we purchased these on Amazon. So I contacted them through Amazon at first, wrote a long email, told them all the testing, all the stuff that we've been doing. And as you can see, we didn't really get a very good response. Either they didn't read the email or they didn't understand what I was saying. So I kind of reiterated and I wasn't getting very far there. So I went to Blue Yeti's website and contact them as well. And they then wrote me back, asked me to do a few of the tests that we're doing now. And one of the things I'm gonna show you is so it's not the power cable. I'm gonna switch these power cables real quick. Put that one there and put this one over here. And just for the sake of anything else, I'm gonna take this solar panel and switch these two solar panels back and forth. This one here and this one here. And we'll also pull them back up on the app. Sorry, my phone kind of had a mind of its own there. Let me pull the app back up. Okay. You can see still 90, well heck, we're even getting less now. 85 on that one, 99 on the other. Let's see what it shows in the app. So 99 watts of solar coming in. That one's completely cut off the grid power. And let's see what the other one does. 85 watts of PV coming in, which I know there's more than that, but okay. And it's completely cut off the grid power again. Just to reiterate, turbo mode is on and selected. Eco mode is off on both of these units. So we'll go to this one again here. Turbo. Eco mode off, go back to the other one, turbo. 
You can see that little symbol on the top right corner, but look, turbo and eco mode is off. So this is the problem we're having. Um, the website sent me an email back, asked me to make this video to show them what was going on. And I also figured I would show this to you guys because if you've purchased this unit, um, you might wanna check and see if you're having the same problem during the return period so you can get it returned if you have the issue. Now for us, this power lifting mode is not so much as important. Uh, we don't wanna use it that often. It's nice when you have, need to get power back in a hurry for emergencies, like in the middle of a hurricane. So as you can see, we couldn't get that much out of the solar for these and we wanna find out what's going on. So we're gonna send this video to Blue Yeti and they're gonna get back to me and I'm gonna make a part two about this to see if it's maybe something we're doing wrong or it could be something maybe with our units that we need to get checked out. Uh, so if you'd like to check that out, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you the next time. By the way, if you like this video, YouTube seems to think that you'll like this video over here. So check it out.